Morning guys, how's everybody doing? I literally have had such an eventful morning so far. The day has barely begun. If you haven't noticed already, um, I'm not in my usual car. My baby Cassie, my Audi, she's been having some problems. So we had to take her in for a service. And this is my hire car. She just keeps on breaking down on me, you guys. I don't really know anything about cars, but like she basically just only works when I'm driving. Like if I'm chilling in my car, the engine just dies and it just won't turn back on for like a good 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, funny story actually. The first time it properly happened to me was when I was in central London for my friend's birthday. We went out for dinner in Sumasan, if you know, you know. Um, and I literally like, luckily had parked up, but like as soon as I parked up, my car died and it wouldn't turn back on again. And I was like, shit, like how am I even gonna get home after this dinner? So I was in Sumasan on the phone to AA like, um, hello, my car is broke down and they were actually really good to be fair like an hour later the AA guy came and me and Emily left the restaurant like halfway through the dinner in our fucking dress and heels and babbage makeup <laughs> to go link the AA man on the side of the street in the middle of the night and yeah he did his thing I managed to get home okay but basically after that I ended up booking my service and two weeks later here we are it's weird though because like I took my car to Audi and they've given me Vauxhall Corsa. I mean, I'm not complaining because at least I have a vehicle to take me from A to B. It's just like different driving a new car. And I'm actually on my way to my first ever spin class. I'm like a little bit nervous, get a little bit shaky, but I'm excited at the same time. Like I've never done spin before, by the way, which is a bit embarrassing because I'm actually like a personal trainer. I put it on my Instagram stories like a few weeks ago because basically I go to like a regular gym, but then I also go to like a yoga slash Pilates studio. And they recently refurbed it and built a brand new spin studio which is so cute and when I put on my story like loads of people popped up like you should try spin like it's great because I know spins hard like you lot are fooling me trying to say it's cute and it's fun I've seen them TikToks, yeah? With the spin classes, with the DJs, and they don't, they don't even let the women sit down. So don't judge me, but I've actually booked myself a relaxed ride because we're gonna ease our way in. Plus, I'm about to start my period soon. Plus, I trained glutes and hamstrings yesterday, which might have been a big fuck up. But I feel like relaxed ride should be okay. I think it will ease me in. I've literally never done it before, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. What? Just finished my first spin class. Relaxed ride. Do I look relaxed to you? <laughs> you know what? I think the meaning of relaxed, I got confused. It was relaxed music. So sis was playing like country songs and ballads, but <laughs> it was still a vibe. It was definitely a beginner's class because she was teaching us like what to do. But I definitely built up a sweat and that's saying something because I have Botox. And note to self, don't get a wax before you do spin. <clears throat> it was just all a bit raw. And also, those seats are not made for big boot bitches because, oh my god, like I swear I'm gonna wake up with bruises tomorrow. It hurts. If anybody has a solution for that, surely there must be like comfortable seat covers for spin because I know that's a thing. Anyway, I made the and making it seem like it was shit, but it was actually great. It was actually so much fun. I would definitely do it again. Um, and I actually feel like, like it was hard, but it wasn't like drop dead hard. And sometimes that's how I wanna feel when I go to a class. So I feel like I could potentially even do the more advanced spin. We'll see though. I don't wanna get ahead of myself. because <laughs> I might go like every other week because it's a lot to like fit in when I have my gym membership and I try and do four sessions and then like Pilates and yoga and I'll spin. Like it was a bit too much this. But yeah, it was actually really enjoyable. Like I would honestly recommend, I felt the endorphins as I was cycling on that bike. I understand why people get obsessed because it's a whole vibe in there with the mood lighting, the loud music, and you just feel like you're working and everyone's doing it as a team. Like I've never really been much of a class girl. Like ever since I started training, I've always just been to the gym like by myself. So experiences like this are so new for me and I proper enjoyed it. I will definitely be going again. And now I'm at the studio and I brought my laptop. So I think I'm just gonna go into, they have like a really cute cafe here and just sit down and get some work done because yeah, I haven't actually done any today. I've been 
seeing this trend all over TikTok recently, people are doing it with either their kids or their dogs, where they leave a treat in the room and then they leave the room and tell them not to eat it and see if they eat it. And I've just been gagging to do it with Reggie because he's such a good boy. And I just want to see if he's going to do it. <laughs> I think he thinks I'm taking one a walk. But we'll do that afterwards, promise. Reggie, show everyone how handsome you are. Oh, stop. I just gave him a wash yesterday, so he's fresh. You fresh boy. So I've seen this trend all over TikTok recently where people have been, they do it with their kids or their dogs, I don't have any kids, where they've been given their pets a treat, leaving it on the floor and then leaving the room and seeing if they eat it or not. Ready? Um, and Reggie's such a good boy. He's so well trained. <laughs> I already got the treats out, so he's already trying his luck with me. He's getting excited. Big mistake. I should have got the treats out after I did this intro. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try it with him. I feel like he'll do it. So let me set the camera up. Reggie, come here. Where are you going? Good boy. You stay there. We got some tasty minis. What is this? Chicken and duck. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's get them in the frame. Ah! Stay. 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 like he passed you guys I'm gonna give it to him I think you deserve to go on a I just walk in Mr. Reginald. He has looking a bit crazy. But um, <laughs> that little video that I filmed with him was so cute. If you guys want to watch the full thing, then I did post it on TikTok. So it's my second TikTok. Like most people don't know that I have obviously my fitness TikTok and then I have like a personal one where I post other shit. I don't use it as often as I should to be fair. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to come on here and say that <laughs> I was not wrong. When I said I felt like my ass was going to bruise after spin, like it is sore today you guys. Like, it was the first thing I felt when I woke up this morning. Even like on the walk now I can feel it, like is that normal? I don't really know how to avoid that. If anyone's got any tips, please let me know. Good morning. Uh, why do I actually look like I'm dying today? I think it's because it's the first day of my period if you can't tell. We're about to change that anyways because I'm getting ready for yoga and yes, I'm one of them girls who gets ready to work out. Really don't give a fuck what anyone else has to say. Let's put these two bits of hair back because they're pissing me off. But yeah, I'm gonna do like my natural makeup routine because I've really been feeling it recently. It's literally like all I've been wearing. I haven't done a full beat in so long. So yeah, I just thought I'd come on here and show you guys. So what I've already done so far is put some SPF on. I've been using the Garnier vitamin C SPF and then I also put some eye brightening drops because I just I'm literally I just look like I'm dying when I come on my period my whole body just shuts down um so this just literally brightens the whites of your eyes but the only thing about this SPF yeah it's a bit dry so I do put the Walida skin food on top of that I just I love this shit so much I don't know if I have super dry skin but my skin just eats it up it literally just smells so good and it's so moisturizing I use it as a primer and a legit like all of my makeup that I wear and I'm bringing it like under my chin and down my neck because I'm gonna gua sha I swear to god this thing is snatching me like tell me if I'm wrong but look at my jaw this did not exist last year 
this side we still need to work on a little bit but i literally like i only gua sha my jaw like i know people do it like on their cheekbones and everything but i already have like a skinny little long head so i don't want to snatch this bit in more i just want to snatch this bit so i do actually you know first of all i've learned this recently from tiktok you're supposed to like open up your lymph nodes so like massaging this part here i do everything in 10 so i do that like 10 times and then i do 10 of these and then 10 of these just to like create that sharp jawline. I actually can't get over how dead I look, honestly. Next step is I've been using this hyaluronic acid on my lips. I was using the Garnier one before this and I got this one as a free gift. I think when I did like an order from Sephora or something and if you have like any type of fillers in your lips, I have Volite. It just plumps them up again, it hydrates them and I always notice a difference, like my lips literally look freshly done after I put this on. Last little skincare thing I do is primer i use the benefit professional i know it's like proper old school but i really do feel like it cancels out my pores before i put any makeup on my face i literally just apply it in my t-zone only because that's where i really notice my pores i actually do my makeup in such a random order because why am i going in with brows next after just doing my base but i kind of like to just let my base marinate on my face before i do anything so i just brush them with a spoolie i recently got them laminated so i really don't even need to do too much I just have this NYX brow gel and I just literally slick them into place with that. I don't know if you can see, my brows are still like a bit gappy in certain areas. Um, I have eyes on my brow lady because I just don't like them being cut, I've realised. So I still have to fill them in a little bit and I'm literally using another NYX product. NYX is the goat when it comes to brow products, I'm telling you. It's the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen and lips just filling in any gaps already looks so much better but because this is literally like a kind of natural makeup look i'm really not forcing anything like nothing has to be perfect i really don't care too much mm. moving on to concealer because boy do i need that shit today um i just don't understand my eye bags like if anybody has any tips on how they feel like to get rid of their eye bags because some days i wake up and they're fine some days i wake up and they're horrendous i literally got eight hours of sleep last night like maybe it is because i'm starting my period but i literally woke up and felt like i've been hit by a brick my head was hurting so bad and my bags are literally just disgusting but this always saves the day so i never worry too much it's the fenty beauty under eye brightener i think mine's in the shade deep butter and i always put this on right before i put my concealer because this is like a really thin concealer but it's really bright shade and i swear to god it actually cancels out my bags fully and then i put my concealer on top of it and it just adds like another layer i should have showed you guys what it looked like before and after but i put it on both eyes because i just need to cover these damn bags but you can probably already tell it's so much brighter and i'm just gonna go in and layer that up with my hourglass concealer i honestly don't know how i've been living my whole life without this concealer it's actually the best thing in the world i tried to use one of my other concealers the other day my hmb one no offense but it just was not giving the same <laughs> Um, and I'm just using a little bit. This is a little bit of concealer for me. I usually slather it on. Um, I'm in between two shades right now. Flax and June. This is just going to give me the coverage that I need to get rid of these damn bags. And literally just brighten up my face. That's all I want right now. I just realised that I don't have that much time before I have to leave for yoga. So I just did my blush off camera. I used the Made by Mitchell blush in... Posey Rosie, I've literally been using this for ages now. I succumb to those TikTok adverts. And this is my new favorite, absolute favorite makeup item. And it's the Rare Beauty um, Liquid Luminizer. And I just use that as a liquid highlight. I put it onto my hand first, because I think when I put it straight onto my face, it takes the rest of my makeup off. And I literally just dab it where I would usually put my highlight. I know it looks like so crazy right now. I'm a bit crazy with highlights still. It's giving. 2016 put it in all the right places and then i literally just blend it out with my beauty blender and i just think it's honestly the prettiest highlight ever like look <laughs> it's honestly so glowy and cute i feel like my face is finally coming together i use this in the shade outshine by the way and next up we're gonna powder i'm using the huda beauty powder and i'm only gonna put it in places that i don't want my makeup to come off or places I don't want to be shiny. 
I have an LVR right now, so my lashes are nice and curled. So I'm not even gonna curl them. The only thing I'm gonna do is put my Dior mascara on. And to be honest, like quite a thin layer because I don't want it to look like I'm wearing mascara, but I want my lashes to still look good. I literally love having an LVL so much. I feel like it changes my whole look because my lashes, even though they're long, just grow straight down. And even when I curl them, they don't stay up. This is the only thing that makes them stay up. Oh, so much better already. I'm literally feeling like myself. Um, I wouldn't usually do this, but I just feel like the blush isn't blushing the way I want it to blush. I think it's because I fake tan yesterday, so my skin's a bit darker right now. And I'm just going to use my Dior Rosy Glow Blush on top of the Made by Mitchell. This kind of also is just going to set the liquid blush. I have literally dug through every bag, every jacket pocket, every crevice of my makeup desk and I cannot find my Dior Lip Glow which is literally my go-to lip balm. I'm so pissed about it. It was literally like half full and if you know, I think it's like £35 and it lasts like two weeks so I'm so pissed that I've lost it. Hopefully it pops up. That's what I usually do my lips with and it looks so good. Like I always get people asking me what's on my lips. Today we're going to have to freestyle. I'm literally just going to use this Burt's Bees... Um, pomegranate lip balm and then I'm gonna top it with my Dior lip glow oil I'm giving Dior haul today everything I'm using is like Dior and to be fair this is still really cute it's just not as cute like if you know about the Dior lip glow balm then this just does not compare I'm going to finish setting my face Ugh! don't talk and set your face at the same time bitch with this Morphe setting spray. And then last thing, I'm just gonna quickly draw over some of my beauty marks. I literally look so much more alive right now, I can't deal. This is my finished natural makeup look that I've been doing day to day. I tried to like do these two bits of hair as well, but they're literally so crusty, they won't even curl. Hair wash is long overdue. I've been waiting to unpackage this outfit in time for my yoga class. I got a new yoga set from PLT. I'm so excited to wear. I already have it in a different colour, so I know it's gonna look cute. And this grey is like just much more wearable in day to day. This is my yoga outfit today. How cute is this? I'm actually so obsessed. I feel like it's so wearable even outside of yoga. Like the colour is so cute. I'm wearing it with my New Balance 906s. And yeah, I literally need to run out the door right now, but just for reference, I got the top in an 8 and the bottoms in a 12 which is kind of crazy that size contrast usually it's not that mad but PLT as we know is very inconsistent and it's from the shape collection but yeah I'm gonna go to yoga now I'll try and take you guys with me but they're a bit strict on filming I got told off last time I brought my phone out just finished Pilates, hence the good mood. If you're wondering why I sound nasally, it's because I am. I've come down with a cold which is so jarring. Honestly, like worst possible timing because I have such a busy week this week. Pilates was good. I went to a new class today, like at the same studio but with a different teacher because I didn't have time to fit my regular class in. This was an express class so it was like only 45 minutes. I usually do an hour yeah i think i like it it was just a very different vibe like this teacher was a lot more zen and she made us like do the same exercise over and over again until i literally felt like my boots were gonna fall off <laughs> whereas my usual teacher she plays like more loud music it's more of like a club in there and then she kind of gives us loads of new exercises but then because of that i feel like i don't get to focus on the individual movements anyways i don't know maybe i'll switch up the teachers i can't decide and if you're wondering i am still in my bloody Corsa. It's not even mine. I'm still in this <laughs> rental Corsa. They said that Cassie was going to be gone, yeah, for two days. Two days! Come like Anna from my life. <laughs> Which, by the way, oh my god, I love her podcast with her sister. Can't lie, I'm a fan. 
Let's call Sisters in the City. I don't really know why I'm acting like I'm giving them promo because I'm actually doing their thing and have their subscribers. But yeah, I just find it so entertaining. Like I literally gag for when they release their episode every week. And I subscribe to their Patreon too because, you know, I've got to show love. And I genuinely enjoy it. They literally just yap, but that's me. Like, I yap. I just talk. They just literally give, like, life updates. They're so, like, real and honest. They literally just talk about everything. Their boyfriends, their friendships, their love life, their family. Like, they're just open books. And I feel like not a lot of people do that these days. So I love that for them. Anyways, where was I? My fucking car. They told me it was going to be gone for two days. Yeah, it's been eight. Eight days that I've been having this electric car. And don't get me wrong. Like, I'm still so grateful to even have a car to drive. Like, Lord knows what I'll be doing right now if I didn't. But I literally just miss my car so much. Do you know what it is? The fact that this car is electric. <laughs> it is the bane of my life to charge this shit. Like, I mean, to be fair, I probably should be charging it at the charging stations. There's literally one at the top of my road, like the electric car stations. But I'm just being stingy. I don't want to fucking pay. Like, I've been charging it in my house, but it takes, like, no exaggeration, like... 15 hours to charge the car up the whole way so i've literally just been charging it in like two hour increments and adding like 10 miles on the fucking charge each time which is not enough but the whole point of me turning this camera on was to let you guys know that i'm going to sainsbury's right now i'm literally just about to pull up into sainsbury's to buy my most favorite snack recently i thought i would take you food shopping i mean i'm probably only gonna get a handful of things and then go and make my lunch i guess it is kind of lunch time i know i said snack but like by the time i actually make the food it will technically be lunch so yeah you guys are just gonna have to wait and see what i'm gonna make <laughs> heading into my second home This is a key ingredient for today's lunch, so if you guys can guess what I'm making already. Do you know what? Usually I'll get the simple chicken flavour, but this is on offer, like, I can't not love a bargain. Sainsbury's haul, I really didn't get that much stuff, and I kind of showed you the stuff that I got in there anyways, but I got some chicken mints. I don't know why I'm keeping this meal so secretive. I'm making homemade chicken nuggets that I saw on Reels on Instagram, and I've made them before. They're actually really, really good. And they're just like a healthier way, like it's quite a childish meal, but tastes really nice. And usually I get the plain chicken ones. I don't know how these ones are gonna taste. It's the spring chicken flavor, but I only got it because it was on offer. And then I'm gonna have it with some chips, just keeping it real. There's only 166 calories in each box. So I'm gonna have one of those boxes with it as well. And then I got some blueberries, because we ran out. Some ginger to put in my teas, because I'm sick. Some kiwi fruits, because I just felt like it. And then this vanilla rice pudding from the Coconut Club. It's like a vegan one. And this with some jam is just so good. It's such a nice snack. 9.8 grams of protein per pot, which is really good. So I have this as a cheeky little dessert. But yeah, let me show you guys a setup for my nuggets. Okay, so this is the setup for the nuggets. Very simple. I literally just mashed up the chicken mints. I mean, it's already, like, this is what chicken mints looks like, by the way. It's already, like, really squishy. So I didn't have to do too much. I just mashed it up with a masher and a fork. I didn't add anything into it apart from the egg. Usually I would add some more seasoning, but this mince is already seasoned, so I don't even want to do too much. So yeah, there's an egg in there, and then I blended up some rice cakes. I can't believe I didn't mention the key ingredient for this dish is the breadcrumbs are actually rice cakes blended up. It obviously is just like a lot healthier for you. These rice cakes are definitely stale, but I feel like that actually doesn't even matter. Um, and I sieved it after I blended them just so I could get like the really finely milled pieces because I made it. The first time I made it, I didn't do that. I blended it bare chunky and it was just like, I don't know, not a vibe. So yeah, I'm literally just gonna create like little balls of the nuggets, cut it in the rice cakes, and then pop it on a baking tray. Here's what the nuggets are looking like. I used half of the mince and it made 10 nuggets, which I think is quite good. I just didn't show like the whole process on camera because it was so messy. I had raw chicken all over my hands and that was just not the vibe. But I'm gonna put these in the oven now. The past few times I've made them, I've put them in the air fryer, but I don't know, I just feel they don't go crispy enough. So I'm gonna try it in the oven and see if that makes a difference. I will link like the actual reel with all of the ingredient amounts down below because that's where I copied it from. And then yeah, I'll come back with a taste test. Here's the finished product. 
is actually like such a beige childish meal. Don't worry about me there guys, I had some fruits for breakfast. Putting them in the oven was definitely a shout because they came out way more crispy. I don't know, maybe I have like the wrong setting on my air fryer or something. But yeah, let's give them a taste test. Just dipping them in some ketchup. You a ketchup or a mayo person when you eat your nuggets? Comment, I'm interested. Yeah, it tastes really good to be honest. I don't really notice a difference between using this mince and the other mince. But yeah, amazing. I usually like would actually just have the nuggets as a snack because they have a lot of protein in them and it's just like something easy and quick to eat. But I fancy them for a meal today. So yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs and eat this now. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Alright, why is this all going on now then? picked up Jada and hey. we're about to go to the gym well not really actually <laughs> we're about to go to the Steven sauna I just thought I'd show you guys the Steven sauna at my gym because it's a private one so it's literally like for two people only and we love having like a little Thursday reset going in there washing our hair scrubbing off our tan redoing it and just being fresh for the weekend because we're actually going out for dinner tomorrow which I think I'm gonna vlog I'll do a like a whole separate vlog and I'm getting my hair done yes. at Jada's salon I'm doing actually now oh wait Surprise, oh, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Something different though that you guys never would have seen me in. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd just like end the vlog with a little wholesome note, show you the steam and sauna, and I'll start my new vlog tomorrow. Bye. You guys stay fresh for us. <laughs> Towels and slippers. This cute little sink area with the LED light. It's really small, but it does the job. Shower. This is a steamer, it's not looking very steamy though. Better turn that on right now. Alright. And then, <laughs> why is it giving disco? It's giving Essex disco. <laughs> the sauna, which has, oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's really hot in here. It has like a little um, TV that you can play YouTube on. 